Hello and welcome to the first installment of the Bourbon Blind series. I have three snifters, three bottles marked A, B, and C, and a hermetically sealed envelope with the results of which bourbons are A, B, and C. I will know which bourbons, but we're going to get into it right after this. All right, I'm calling this the Barrel Proof Blind Flight, right? This was a suggestion, um, and you know who you are. I took your, your suggestion, and so I'm doing Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Booker's 2019-03 Country Ham, and Bell Mead Reserve, the Cast Strength Reserve. Um, I, I poured these up. I printed the labels, but did not stick them on the bottles. I had a piece of paper and I drew a grid on it and I put the bottles in, in order of what they were listed. And then my wife took the ABC label and I told her, I said, you know, whichever one you put the B on, just put a B above the name of the bourbon and a C, A, whatever. So these are, I know it's the only certain order they can be in, but, um, you know, she, she didn't just line them up. So, um, you know, I don't know what the, 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 the is until I open the envelope and we're not going to open the envelope until after I have tried these bourbons. I can tell you I'm a little nervous. Um, now I've done bourbon tastings before and this is the way we do our bourbon tastings and I have my wife pour them so I don't even know what they are. And I use different containers because we have more people around the table, but with COVID, we haven't been able to get together and do that. But what we're gonna do is just gonna start with bourbon A. And, and I have no idea what this is, so I'm gonna pour it. I mean, I know it's one of these three. That's all I know. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour them all up. But we're gonna keep A over here because I wanna be able to see them in the snifters. We are gonna put B here. And y'all help me keep these in order now. <laughs> okay. I'm also not gonna pull the bottles down. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go with just what I have in front of me. <clears throat> let's do this the right way. Um, let's just do it. It would be scarier if I didn't know. Now, one of the blinds, uh, you know, the bourbon blinds I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna spread the bottles out in here. It's I'm reluctant to do that because my wife's gonna actually see how many bottles of bourbon I have, uh, which is a lot. And I'm gonna have her pick any one of them at random and put it in a, a container. It'll be a different container than these. It has a wider mouth, she can pour it in very easily. So now we have A, B, and C. And I'm gonna spread these out so I make sure I do not get them mixed up. I am not using the Bourbon Bounty logo glass because I, 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 I don't know what any of these are. So let me swirl these and get a look at the color. Okay, it's a good amber. All right, it's a little bit dark. They all look similar. This is harder when you don't know what they are. Okay, I think that may be a little darker. All right, let's give this one a swirl. Okay, I would say this one's probably the lightest of the three. Uh, let's come back over here, and check the legs. All right, I'm gonna start with here. I'm gonna nose them all and see what I get off there. Um, the legs are medium. Pretty good, not bad. I'm not getting a strong alcohol punch. I do know that Elijah Craig and Booker's are both in the 120s. I think uh, Elijah Craig's like 127 point something. I don't even wanna look at the bottles. I, I'm going completely off of memory. I think 
uh, that's Elijah Craig, 127.3 or something like that. Uh, Booker's 2019.03, I think is 124.7 or something to that effect. And I think Bell Mead is down there around 111, 112, somewhere along in there on the proof. So it's going to be the lower of them. Um, I'm not getting a big kick off the, the ethanol kick on the nose on that one, but let me nose this one. Now, all of these are fairly soft on the nose, even with the alcohol content. So I'm not gonna go notes yet. I'm just trying to get a feel for how strong they are. This one's pretty light. Uh, this one gave me the strongest kick on the nose. Um, I believe, now I don't wanna get these mixed up. A, B, I think B here is a little darker, but this one I do believe is darker than C. Just a hint darker. So I did not get, that was the lightest on the nose, heaviest on the nose. If I went by that, this would be the highest alcohol content, that and then that. But we're not going to just stick with that. Uh, let, let's go ahead and, and dissect them a little more. And all of these, none of these have really a high spice to them. So, I, I mean, they're, they're very similar in, in profile as far as the major profile points go. I mean, you know, somebody could smell a rye and a scotch and a bourbon and go, oh, that's a rye. That's a scotch. That's a bourbon. Th those are the big profile notes that you get. Getting a little, uh, the cherry out of there on the nose. Whew, uh, this one's a little stronger. Good oaky notes. The fruits are coming through. A little caramel in there with it. Oh, and I'm picking up that, that little subtle. I think I know what this one is. Okay, uh, I'm picking up something very subtle out of there, and I think I know what it is. All right, this one, a little bit different profile. There's a fruity note in there. It's almost a, there's a little bit of a spice note to this. Uh, so it's underlying, but it's there. So I'm just going to start with A. I know I'm going to be uh, drinking these. I may even do, you know what, let me do this. To be fair to these bourbons, I'm going to have to do a magic of video production on you right quick. I'll be right back. And just like that, I'm back with water. Okay, so let me start by taking a, 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 the initial sip off of this one. They're all about even in the glass. I mean, uh, you know, so. Mm. I think I know what that is too, right away. It just flooded my memory. <coughs> but. I don't like to give too many notes off that first sip. They're all very good bourbons, by the way. So I'm going to take another sip. Yeah, I think I know what that is. Mm, that molasses is coming through. I think, yeah, that's a good bourbon. It's got the toasty notes and it. it's got the good wood notes coming out, the good oaky notes that molasses sweetness on it. Ah. Oh, and it has an enormously long finish, which is why I need a lot of water. I'm wanting to get all of that rinsed out before I go to this one. Oh, that cherry. Mm. Yep. Oh, that is so good. And that underlying note, I'm going to tell you what it is here in a little bit. It is compounded and, and it is much darker in this bourbon, but it's reminiscent of something I'm very familiar with as to why I'll go ahead and tell you, I think this is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I know the profile of that very well. And I already think 
torn, but I think this is the 2019-03 uh, Booker's, which leaves us with C being Bell Mead. So let me see if this is correct. Mm. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I need to go anymore. I think I know what these are. That is such, this is a great, great barrel proof bourbon right here. Um, it is the Elijah Craig. Uh, let me look at the bottle uh, batch number. It's the, um, oh, uh, the, yeah, the B520. Um, I believe that's what this is for sure. I think that's the 2019-03 Country Ham. And this is the Bellmead Cast Strength Reserve. But to be fair, come on, you know. Give up your ghost. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Yeah. Okay, let's open this envelope. This one, I was kind of worried about this, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, it just flooded back to my memory. God, I hope I'm right. I'm making such a big deal out of this. Um, I'm so confident that these better be correct. <laughs> I'm going to lose all my credibility. Okay, come on. Uh, oh, she tore them apart. Okay, I was wrong on this one. This is bell meat. Okay. All right. But I am really banking on that middle one. She, she cut them apart here. Aha. Booker's over here. I was correct. Elijah Craig right there. That is Elijah Craig barrel proof batch eight or B520. Uh, 127.2 proof. Uh, 124.7 proof. 111.2 proof. Actually, I can tell you these profiles are really similar in these things, but there is actually this, drinking them like this, the alcohol threw me off. The ethanol coming through on this came through stronger than uh, the Booker's, even though the Booker's is a higher proof, which really threw me off. Absolutely. That one uh, has a little more burn to it. Um, and I was really confident that I had those right. <sighs> but only because I knew the profile of this one so much. Because I've really been enjoying the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Man, all three of these are fantastic. But it might my favorite out of these. It, it's a cross between them all. But I think if I had to edge it out just a little, especially from doing this blind, it's the Elijah Craig. That, that's my favorite. Out of these, partly because of the cost on it. Now, the Bell Mead wasn't that much higher than the Elijah Craig, but you know how much Booker's cost. This was absolutely the least expensive of these. And to me, has the best flavor profile that is memorable for sure out, out of all, all three of these cast strengths. And I, I enjoyed doing this blind because it really makes you focus on just the liquid in the glass and you don't know which one's which and, and you don't know. So again, to recap, I nailed this thing right away. These two I had swapped but only because I think Bell Mead uh, Cast Strength Reserve has a stronger ethanol note to it coming out. And the Booker's 2019-03 is much softer on the nose, but very similar uh, sweetness profiles and all. Oh, that underlying thing, the underlying thing that really hit me with Elijah Craig, I told you I would tell you what it was. It's honeysuckle, okay? I call Elijah Craig the honeysuckle bourbon. It really takes my mind to honeysuckle for some reason, and the regular Elijah Craig does. Now this is in spades and much darker, so there's a lot more notes on top of that honeysuckle, but somewhere down in there, my brain senses that and it just goes to it. It's like, oh, 
that smells like honeysuckle or it tastes like, you know, I'm getting that, that honeysuckle sensation off this. Again, much darker. There's almost a wild honey note to this. I'm talking about like where the, the field is just a bunch of wild flowers and they, they have controlled beehives and all that and they produce wild honey. It has some of that in there, but man, that honeysuckle's there too. That's how I picked Elijah Craig Barrel Proof so quickly. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll make sure I, I, I do another one of these uh, for next Saturday. So as always, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell down there for notifications. Share me out, and I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.